And now, a man who needs no introduction. You all know him, and millions have welcomed him into their homes, daily via the television, radio, telephone, jet airliners, Queen Elizabeth and the London Bridge. You have heard and responded to the sincere spiritual message of this quiet-spoken, humble man. And now, without further ado, that spiritual star of stage, screen, radio, the Morris Cirillo of the microphone, that cunning linguist and affable zany madcap, the Reverend Fred Lang. Let's hear it! That's for all hurt, ladies and gentlemen. Great man. Okay. Or jump on it! Chicago is my kind of town. Chicago is my kind of people too. People who smile at you and each time I roam. Chicago is calling me home. Chicago is one town. That won't let you down It's my kind of town My kind of town Chicago is My kind of town Chicago is The Wrigley Building Chicago is The Union Stockyard Chicago is Each time I roll, 
Chicago is calling me home. Chicago is the Brickley Building. Chicago is the Union Stockyard. One town. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. On the way over here, I, uh, I, uh, a guy asked me what time it was, so I bid him. See, and uh, after that, I was over this. <laughs> Shut up. This guy, there was this guy over at. Uh, no, no, it wasn't there. I got that all wrong. See, well, I went into this uh, in this this broad's house, and we were really swinging, you know, and. Uh, well, you know, and, uh, and uh, I got lost, you know, and I fell in the fundus, and, uh, and there was this guy in there, and he had a, he, it was dark in there, and I turned my cigarette lighter on, and uh, I said, uh, what are you doing? He said, if I, I find the keys to my truck, uh, we, we can get out of here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't bite him, I just uh, kicked him in the crotch a few times, and uh, I just took his wallet. <laughs> Oh, no, we've got a lot of things on the show tonight. We're going to have a big giveaway where we give away a lot of prizes. Door prizes, door. Door prizes, yeah. Your, your ticket, keep your ticket, Stub. Yeah, Homo Bart's going to be there. On the more serious side, here at Dullinus, we have a policy to bring you serious music by serious composers. That's a bunch of... Redullinus... Frogs. This little piece called Frogs. And after that, we'll have another uh, one of those great monologues of mine.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you a group of people that I've known for years. The captains of industry. Let's hear it for the captains of industry. Ron Pate and his captain.
greatest, brilliant. Let's hear it for him. Great big hand. There you go. Now's where we give away the prizes. One of you lucky people out there will get a prize. Get this light shining in your face. Oh, they're turning the lights on now. Well, what do we have today? Where are the prizes? Where are the raffle tickets? A woman's pink nighty. Jimmy's showing it to you right now. Five nine double O one one. Isn't that lovely? Little woman would would just blush in that. The little lady won it back. Let's draw another one. Oh, thank you. That's some sweet kid. Hey, folks, look at her. Watch her dance. Well, we'll catch you after the show. Five nine double O eight O. Right here. Little bearded man. What do we have for him? Hand it to him. I don't want to touch him. Give me another one. Five nine double O eight six. Hey, that's him. The ugly man right there. Hey, hey. Give me, geek the man. Gets the tires, Danny. He gets the tires. Boy, there's a lucky man going home to his wife with four tires. What an idiot. Five nine triple O eight. Hey. Here, hey, the woman with the big what? Hey. Oh. You've got Redonis Beauty Boutique face powder for the face. Face powder, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for face powder. Face powder. Oh, aren't you embarrassed? Look, take your clothes off, quick. And that's it for the grand prize. Right now, we've got something come up from Ron Payton, the Debonairs, the blue denim deals without the arms. Do a thing called the Lonely Astronauts. We'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a minute. Everybody will be back.
Thank you very much. First, I spotted him from across the street. He always wore those cut off jeans and a tight pullover sleeveless velour, so it was easy to pick out in the crowd. From there, I could see his clean shaven face and brown hair flitting about his shoulders, sort of a neo Lex Barker. Pulling my hat brim down in front, I lit up a four by four inch slab of masonite and inhaled thoughtfully. I remembered how often Dana Andrews had done the same. But everyone had forgotten about him by now. So long ago. At the moment, he was entering a local cheap cafe, the Blowdout. He visited there every day at this time. I knew. Bored by this point, I made a hasty entrance into the pawn shop next door and asked the custodian to display for my benefit the small firearms. After I made the purchase of a Webley automatic, I knew great pleasure was at hand. And having this knowledge crossed at the red light, walked two stores left to the blowed out, kicked the door open, and fired one shot into old Blue Jean's left thigh. When he fell off the bar stool, I fired one shot into his groin. And as he lay on the floor, I fired a third and final shot into his heart. I don't know why I bother with this crap, but hasn't this all happened in some crazy way before? Thank you.
couldn't tell whether she was coming or going, so she went to the doctor, and uh, the, doctor, the doctor said, uh, well, uh, come into my office tomorrow morning. So she went in there tomorrow morning, and uh, next day, and, and she said, doctor, I can't tell what, uh, whether I'm coming or going. I don't know what's wrong. She said, he said, uh, go, in, go, into the room, go into the room and take your clothes off and come back in here, and then she took her clothes off and comes back into the room, and he says, uh, he says uh, get down on, on your hands and knees. And so she gets down on her hands and knees. And he says, uh, I'll crawl over that wall over there. So she crawls over the wall over there. And uh, it's like, now, now I'll crawl back over the other wall. And uh, she crawls over the wall. And then crawl back over to the disc. She crawls over this disc. And, uh, and then crawls back over to the wall. And, uh, and he says, all right, you can stand up now. She stands up and says, go, go put your clothes back on. So she goes and puts her clothes back on, comes back and says, well, uh, well, doctor, what's wrong? And she, he said, uh, I don't know. I can't tell whether you're coming or going either. Well, that about ends the show. The, um, you can all uh, synchronize your watches. We'll look forward to a brighter tomorrow. And this only thing that I can say is one, two, three. Bola re, whoa, whoa, cantare. Whoa, 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 no wonder my happy heart sings Your love, it has given me wings Oh, Larry, whoa, whoa, oh, Kentari Oh, whoa, 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 no wonder my happy heart
kill it! Until we meet again, we've all met.